over to your FX. Coming at you on Monday, 26 October. Clocks have changed. Got a rainy, dark fall morning here in Geneva, which is typical of this time of year. You want to start your ski season right, head out to Sasfe or Zermatt buckets and boats and truckloads of snow uh, but if you're stuck in Geneva let's look at the market see if we can make some money uh, today and this week and going into this key period which is the election period pretty quiet uh, over the weekend news wise a uh, little bit of a risk off tilt um, I think the main theme going into this uh, election period will be People will be taking risk off the table, lightening up a little bit. Uh, and some of the weak hands are going to have to get cleared. So be wary of that. And it's a sort of smash and grab period. And then going into, say, Monday night next week, depending on the results, you have to have your strategy in to, uh, to make a big play. So for now, we're smash and grab. Um, but... We're building a story, looking at levels uh, for a big play. Push your chips in uh, for the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday period uh, next week. Cable, back lower after back higher after back lower. Not much to do there. Euro, this does get kind of interesting above 118.80, but I still feel like the clear out is going to be to the downside. Um, this hasn't played out yet, but this could easily just, you know, as liquidity dries up and buyers and sellers just sit, go into the sidelines, the stops below um, the forced selling to clear risk before the big event could happen. So we're 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 watching this uh, 117.85 is really your first key moment that this might be happening keep an eye on this um, for the clear out lower no evidence of it today so we're just watching dollar swiss the amount of calls i fielded about 90 cents um, it's astounding how people uh, haven't traded dollar swiss all year and now are interested at 90 cents 90 cents doesn't mean anything to me might mean a little bit to the SNB, but they're certainly not going to be um, buying dollars in the open market. They'll be hanging around in Euro Swiss, but they don't. They care about dollar Swiss because of their portfolio. They own all this U.S. stock, um, but they will not intervene in dollar Swiss. So I don't think. I mean, 90 is meaningful because a lot of the locals will be taking off hedges, and a lot of like private banking clients would be happy to be like. Buy dollar Swiss on a 10% discount, you know, faders and mean reverters and whatever. It's nice, a nice tidy place, but dollar Swiss can easily go to 85 cents. Um, in a nutshell, 90 cents means nothing to me. Uh, dollar yen, 104 is kind of the equivalent of 90 cents in, in dollar Swiss. We do think this is going to break. We do think there's risk below here. Um, good chance you know dollar yen approaches a hundred uh, if Biden wins we think euro yen not doing much but we are carefully watching this 123 level we got down to 123.44 um, Friday here at 124.10 there's nothing to do sterling yen nothing to do dollar czar is not bid holy cow There will be risk below 16.09 and 16.00. The long-term fade is the long-term trade is to fade this risk, uh, but certainly don't fight it now. It looks like a weaker dollar. People are going to be buying some EM currencies. Dollar max, same thing. There's going to be risk now below 80.20.84. If you're going to sell dollars, do you want to buy MEX? It's a tricky one, right? I mean, <laughs> not really. But 
in a world where everyone's kind of screwed and there's problems everywhere, maybe keep an eye on oil, keep an eye on all kinds of things. Uh, but certainly, if Trump leaves, there'll be a little, there'll be a little knee-jerk higher move in Max, considering the drama that he's created for that country. Aussie not doing much. Uh, it's kind of come back after all the negative headlines with China making moves. Um, Seventy cents is important here at seventy-one fourteen. Not much to do. Euro Aussie, Doji. After clearing out all the longs, 65.54 the low. Um, if this gets back up above 166.66, uh, it becomes interesting. Aussie oh, yen, you'll see, is the same chart. Pretty much doji after a move higher. This double top here becomes interesting. It, this double top up here makes this uh, 74.20 level interesting. This is a bingo level for us. We'll be watching 7420 very, very closely. Kiwi Yen, not much to say. Kiwi, not sure why it's up there. Maybe dollar negative story. Um, gold. There's going to be a clear out in gold to the downside before this election. It makes no sense except for the fact that people are just long, too long, too much gold. So the guys who got who got long at 1880 are going to get stopped. So look for look for a move through 1880, maybe down through 1850, all the way down to 1810 on one of those like crazy red bar type days. In, in, this is probably coming in the coming days. You can't really sink your teeth into it until we start getting below 80. So. We're not telling, we're not asking ourselves to pre-trade this. We're not short gold right now, but we are watching this. And this is a smash and grab kind of a move. Get short with everybody uh, as everyone's forced to sell and then just square up or even get long down at uh, 1820 or 1810. So if you're short and then you get long, you, you have a tidy average. It's a tricky way to trade, but could work in this scenario. 10 year, you got to resell this 138.20. We're at 138.17. Um, you're going to have to give yourself some room because also there's probably going to be a squeeze here in the bond market. A lot of shorts out there now. ZB, same thing. Squeezing up here, but this is a fade. This is like the biggest fade I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, but the problem with these trades is you got the 100 pound, million pound gorilla on the bid, the Fed. Um, so this could take some time. This could be slow and painful. But if you look at it in general, each time it goes up, it kind of, there's like a three handle bounce. So from 171, 26, maybe 174, high 174s is your fade here on the, for the tactical book the long-term book you just sit short this stuff um, sit short it for the next 10 years um, you know with the supply that's coming our way uh, and if Biden wins you could have you could perhaps see even more supply with infrastructure and jobs and God knows uh, universal basic income may come into play uh, lots of spooky, spooky philosophical economic ideas are, are sort of rankling out there. Uh, this is not good for the value of U.S. long-term bonds. Crude, someone smacked the pony, didn't tell me. Um, did not like it up there at 4190 Here we are at 39 bucks. It's not, I mean, it's just in its range but not looking too healthy. And this is also contributing to a little bit of risk off here uh, today on a very quiet Monday. BTPs probably squeeze up with the fixed income group, but this is a sell in our mind. I mean, this whole December contract, I just, I don't know. I, I mean, it's mind boggling that we got up, we got to 74 basis points. 
but you saw this with Boone's, you know, we got bearish at 40, 50 basis points. It went up to 80. This BTP looks like an incredibly obvious trade. The most obvious trades are the hardest to trade. You're probably better off just buying BTPs when they go back up through 1% yield rather than trying to pick the top. But this is hysterically mispriced. Uh, take it from someone who uh, visits Italy regularly, has a home in Italy. Um, my children are effectively Italian uh, and, and American and Swiss or whatever you want to call it. But this to me uh, makes no sense. Anyway, there's not a lot to say today. I'm saying a lot, but there's not a lot to say. No real uh, super focused levels at the open here. We're going to be patient. We're going to be watching. I think the best level out there is Aussie Yen, 7420. Um, but so far, quiet. We will be watching Euro Aussie also, 166.66. Um, and in order for those to work, you would have to assume that equities have to plunge a bit. Here we are. Um, you can see we're, we're lower. We've already made a lower low here. Um, but it really just doesn't get important until we're below 3,400. 3, uh, NASDAQ also, 11.6. We need that daily close below 11.6. We did not get it the other day. Here we are. We're just dancing here. Uh, just dancing here at 11.6. Boy, you close below that, it's going to look like hell. Uh, but... You can see there's some mysterious bidding going on as every time we get below here, it jams back higher. But on a daily close basis, watch 11,600 in NQ, 3,400 in ES. Now I'm definitely shutting up. Bye, 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 bye. Have a good trading day. See you tomorrow. Bye.